I'm a little afraid of Quill. A little afraid of Quill. Are we ready? I am so ready for yours. What is up, everybody? Well, the world is opening back up again. And that means it's time for another awkward adventure. I have been waiting for another one of these for a very long time, and I'm very excited about this video. So over this past year, I have been dabbling a little bit more into photo shoots. It's been an amazing way to help me embrace my body and just get outside of my comfort zone. So I figured, why not kick that up a notch and have me and my friends compete in an America's Next Top Model type challenge where we take random prompts given to us and turn them into beautiful, elevated, sexy looks captured by a professional photographer. Photographer. And then we vote on the winner in the end. And I cannot wait to live out all of my reality TV show dreams. The competitors included myself, AJ, Dominic, Dahlia, Quill, and Artie. All of us believe that we have strengths and advantages in this competition, but only time will tell. My format producer, Lauren, put a bunch of genres in one bowl and a bunch of settings in the other, drew one out of each, put them together, and that was the prompt she sent out to each of us. The only rules were that we couldn't order anything online. We had a limited time span and a limited budget. I can't can't believe what happened. It's so cool. <laughs> I think that's about all the setup you're going to need. Please enjoy this experience and see if you can predict who the winner is going to be. Okay, so I got my prompt. My prompt slash theme. Your prompt slash theme. My prompt is... Acid trip slash surreal circus. Hi, fantasy toy store. Dystopian slash apocalyptic tea party. Steampunk saloon slash speakeasy. I'm going to be a werewolf summer camp counselor. When I first got the prompt, I was like, cyberpunk beach, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so right now all I'm thinking is like Mad Hatter. I've not gone in so solo like this in a while, so I'm a little nervous about that. Going into this competition, I thought that there's no way I won't have an advantage. I have so many props and costumes and supplies. Surrealist circus? I don't have anything for that. I've been cosplaying since about 2017. I buy pieces and then alter them more than making things from scratch, but I have started making things from scratch. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm worried that people are gonna think I'm gonna do good at this, but like, I don't really know much about steampunk. I was super intimidated by the prompt. So I have decided I'm going to research cyberpunk a little bit more. I think I know what it is. Like I have this idea of what cyberpunk is in my mind, but I also know that it's a whole genre of fiction and it's a whole alternative subculture and fashion. So I wanna make sure that I know what I'm talking about and don't embarrass myself publicly. Plus it's really interesting. I wanna read more about it. My style is, I like to call it like a baby doll grunge. <laughs> as, as I go for it. <laughs> I... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so intimidated. My prop did not match my style. I don't think even a little. I chose werewolf, right? I didn't need to do makeup or I just get to grow hair. <laughs> this competition's already in the bag for me. I don't even have a plan of attack. I'm just gonna attack. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Hi, fantasy toy store. I want to be like a sexy shopkeep with like a mallet. So as predicted, cyberpunk, very cool stuff. It was really like loud and neon. And I'm learning a lot. I learned that it started with the release of Blade Runner in the 80s, the film Blade Runner, which is pretty cool. And I'm right now I'm sort of deep diving into the artists who are most influential in that scene. So people like Steven Meisel, Nick Knight, Steven Klein, and Gareth Pugh. It's neat stuff, man. I'm so stoked that this is my prom. I was definitely intimidated by this prompt. I didn't know how to marry the two styles together in a way that I felt comfortable doing. The example that was given here was, think of what type of toxic, fabulous tea party Effie Trinket from Hunger Games may throw. And I feel like what I can really excel at is maybe putting together not just a look, but more importantly, the surroundings. So I think that's where I'm gonna get my edge. We can see where it goes. Do I go the Effie Trinket route or do I go more of a Mad Hatter route? I'm not sure, but we'll see. <laughs> and how do I make it sexy? <laughs> I sketched out a little look, super rough sketch, but as you can see, kind of took some inspiration from a little bit of Frida Kahlo, obviously Salvador Dali, and then trying to make it circus-esque. I, I definitely took a couple days where I had no clue how to even begin. I'm not satisfied yet with any of the ideas I've come up with. <laughs> I'm struggling. I may need to ask for help, but I also 
may need a new idea. <laughs> I realized that I probably should have done some sort of research, but I ended up at Party City. So we're just gonna go in, see what pieces I can find. Maybe that will help me come up with a design, like which comes first, chicken or the egg? The design or the actual outfit? <laughs> I think I've developed a different direction. So what I'm thinking now, instead of the Effie Trinka stuff, Throw that in the garbage. We're not doing that. I think it might be interesting to try a Mad Max battle-ish look and then mixing that with a tea party look might actually be a little bit more original. So day one of my thrifting adventure, I'm going to meet up with Nathan. I don't wanna go alone, party. Gotta have a hat. <laughs> Pilot? Pilot question mark? <laughs> a pilot? Well, I'm a toy. You're a toy? Maybe? The existential crisis that we all go through. Well, what am I? <laughs> they gave you a, a difficult prompt. If they gave you an easy one, you'd be bored. How do you find something that reads fantasy? They are playing thrift shop while I am thrifting. My personal style consists of Floral shirts or black or whatever clean shirt is in the drawer that I will then cycle every day of the week. <laughs> okay, so this is rather small, but if I do what I would like to do, it could work, possibly. If I went in like a Mad Max direction, I could actually work with my personal style of black. I'm gonna take this part off, I think, but that'll do. So I got the hat and these cute press-on nails from Five Below, and I'm hoping that they're gonna work for my concept. I got a cool new idea, which I'm excited to share with you guys. I am back home from Party City. I'm so excited that I just happened to have this. I literally found it in Goodwill. I got this little handbag. Cause one thing that I do know about steampunk type of looks is that there are always a lot of parts to it. It's not very, you know, simple. We've got some pearls, cigarette holder, you know, those really long ones that they have. This top hat, <laughs> because I see a lot of top hats and goggles and stuff with steampunk, so figured this would be a good base. And finally, this dress. It's got a high-low. Really excited to see what I can do with all of these. I don't have a thought in my brain, but yeah, we'll see. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, okay, we're getting somewhere. Very cheap, very nice. Hopefully I will not drop drop them? I've already dropped one. That's what I was trying to imply. I've dropped one. I broke it. I think if I go in this direction, then I really need to lean into some blacks and reds. Yes! Finally! This one's cooler. I'm just redoing my hair right now, so that will be a part of it. Obviously, I'm gonna use my natural hair. I don't think I'm gonna use a wig or anything. Who are you talking to? The vlog, Courtney. Oh. I definitely have a strategy for winning. It was... Now the first rule is you gotta get fashionable. Asking someone that knew what they do to help me. And the first step to being fashionable is understanding that you know nothing and find someone that actually does. That's my partner Artemis. Shout out to you Artemis. <laughs> He's going to make me a cool, sexy werewolf man. We're going thrifty now, you'll see. I feel like everyone's pretty much on the same playing field because like even though Dom and I are cosplayers, we're cosplayers, not necessarily create our own outfitters. I think obviously Dahlia has potential, a fellow cosplayer that cosplays more than I do. I'm excited to see what Thomas is gonna pull out. I heard he got a little help. So I did manage to get some help and it happens to be someone who is dating one of my competitors, Courtney. Hi. Courtney, thank you for joining me. I don't know if you planned on sabotaging Dominic, but I did not. that's that's what we're doing now. I have been begging Dom to let me help him. He's like, oh, I don't know if I could get help. And then you texted me. It was really funny because I was like, oh, Dom, you're gonna love this tea. <laughs> I just got back from shopping. I found a lot of cool things. Shoes, feather boa, lots of super glue. I got some paint, all these little like gears, feathers. Oh, I got this Nerf gun, Wild West shooter. Hopefully I can paint these and not make it look stupid. You got kind of an idea yeah. of what you think might look few, good. I have a few really neat With ideas. this look, yeah. yeah I, I really like, like that. That's so cool. Yeah. I think that's a fine color actually. I'm still pretty clueless with a lot of this stuff. Oh. Courtney ransacking the shop. Oh my God. <laughs> 
good. Well done. Elf. It is all good. I wonder if anybody's going to dress up like an elf for these photo shoots. Thank you so much. Yeah. Please show me pictures after this photo shoot. I yes. really want to see it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm in Dollar General right now, and I sh you not. I've been looking for this color lipstick. I couldn't find it at Sephora. I couldn't find it at Ulta. Dollar General, bro. And I found the extension cord I needed. People sleep on the Dollar General, I gotta say. So I just stopped to check the balance of my gift card. I am killing it. That was the most expensive trip I've had. <laughs> Makeup's gonna be what's important here. I don't have any rivals. I love everyone. But if I had to call somebody out, I'm a little afraid of Quill. A little afraid of Quill. I think Artie is a sleeper. He seems to not believe in himself as much as he should because I have seen his just casual day wear and it's fantastic. Some things might change depending on what I go find, because I am gonna go to the thrift store now, so let's do it. Y'all, y'all, I'm so excited. Okay, I wasn't planning on going anywhere today, but the thing that I've been stressing out the most is those goggles. Like, you see the goggles, you know it's steampunk. And I found goggles! Ah! We're trying to find some goth jewelry. Yeah, what better place <laughs> to do that than uh, Spencer's Gifts? We tried Hot Topic. We did, for those of you who are about to leave a comment on the video. We tried. Sorry, Hot Topic. I have the two guns primed, so I'm going to start working on painting them. Try and make that one like look like Al Capone's gun because it's very 20s. I don't know what I'm doing. We're living. So I was looking for some like small metal findings to put kind of around my eye. So initially I was looking for sort of a Dremel wheel, but this should do exactly what I want it to do. We found some assless chaps. Do we think that this is gonna work for the Mad Max look that we're striving for? I don't know. I know we're here for you, but it's about me now. <laughs> he found assless chaps. What bottoms do I get? Do I get the assless chaps? I don't know. <laughs> I have to get this done between today and tomorrow. So I was thinking that with the dress that I have, I'll probably just mutilate this backdrop and just cut all the rest of this off. We were testing out makeup and Courtney just told me that one of the looks that I was interested in, I was thinking of going with this one because I think it's really cool. But now I'm hearing from Courtney that Dominic is thinking of doing a similar look. Now I'm conflicted. I don't want to go in with the same look. Look at Courtney. Just can't compete. I got to figure out what we're going to do instead. Not to be Avril Lavigne, but why does this gotta be so complicated? <laughs> In my reading about cyberpunk, it's a lot of neon. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with this teal fabric, because the visor is pink. I think that'll look cool. The main concept, I'm assuming, of this outfit is jorts. Dang, son. Sheesh! I think those are it. What's happening, photo shoot viewers? In the back seat, as you can see, went and did a lot of thrifting. Got stuff. Yeah, I don't know. What else do I need to say? So now I guess I have to figure out which brand I want to be advertising for. I have to be something super evil because I don't know if I've said this in the entire testimonial, but like my character that I'm portraying is not the hero of the cyberpunk universe that I'm inhabiting. They're the villain or they're a product of the villain. So I'm thinking it's, it's going to be like sort of one of those AI robot influencers that we're sort of starting to see crop up now, like Lil Michaela. So yeah, I think that they should be advertising for a company that is truly evil, something like Amazon, something like McDonald's or another one. Gonna get some hair dye going. Got the orange here. The brand is called Iro Iro. It's really pigmented and it smells like cotton candy. What else could you want from a hair dye? That's gonna look so pretty, dude. I'm so excited. It's looking good. I just gotta let it sit there for, I'll probably let it sit for a couple of hours. Oh, it looks so cool. Howdy campers. I need to get some fangs. I have a person on the inside. You got the, you got the, uh, you got the fangs? Thanks, thanks, thanks. Can't be too good. Okay. There are so many crowns in this store. Crown montage? <laughs> I've never seen anything more badass in my entire life. I'm gonna fight tooth and nail to win these stupid sunglasses. I got this thrifted cane, this thrifted frame, and I've got this top hat. And so I'm gonna spray paint gold. It's just what cosplayers do. It's just just cosplayer things.
here is the full kind of like ensemble that I've gotten together. I've got two jacket options. I'm gonna try and cut these sleeves off and hopefully I will have blended this tea party slash Mad Maxi post-apocalyptic theme together in a way that kind of would work. I don't know what I'm getting into and I hope not to ruin this because it was really hard to find. Oh, this is nerve wracking. I've never done this before. I feel just bad for this jacket. I hope I'm not depriving somebody else of a jacket. Didn't they already get rid of it? But anybody else. <laughs> looking for a jacket. You're literally that person looking for a jacket. I was looking for a jacket to massacre. Oh, did I do it? You did. <gasps> it was actually a pretty nice cut. I did it. I did it. That's solid as <laughs> Howdy, campers. It's arts and crafts time. This would not have gone well if it was me. Let's see if I can straight. You fall. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you can tell, but this eyebrow lay, it's like hundo p smooth i just watched a little tutorial that told me if i added some orange to my brows that it would cancel out the darkness of them it's a lot of concealer it's caked on there but hopefully she's worth it so i finished sewing the fringe on this bottom part of the dress what i might do take the little cutoff parts and tie them in the in-betweens so that they'll also hang down and make the fringe look a little more full. This is really like the last thing I have left to do besides figure out what I'm gonna do for makeup. So I'm gonna do that. Update on the makeup. She's cute. I've got these other little pieces and I'm trying to figure out what to do with them. Okay, she's coming together. Yeah, that's looking nice. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty sick. This was an accident. This was an accident. We're just trying stuff out. This is so fun. Who are they? Ah, oh, it's so neat. It's so neat. I just had my first go at doing my little robot hands. It's not bad for a first go round, I think. Okay, so it is the night before the shoot. I managed to get boots from Artie. As for the hat that I'm thinking of using with this whole ensemble, I'm going to try and get it from a local community theater. So I'm gonna run there tomorrow morning. As for the dishware, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do anything to damage the teapot or the teacups to make it look post-apocalyptic. I'm thinking that in the midst of the photo shoot tomorrow, I'm gonna try to break them. I don't think I'm gonna win. I'm just gonna have fun with it and revel in the fact that I'm gonna have like a Mad Max tea party. <gasps> I just realized the combination of the words made Mad Max tea party. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. It's about midnight at this point. Got some coffee. I'm just gonna power through. I don't have like a proper pattern, so I'm gonna trace this one, cut and stitch it and hope that it's where it needs to be. And I think that I can finish everything I need to finish in time for the shoot. Whether that means I get to sleep tonight remains to be seen but it's gonna get done. It has to get done, so it's gonna get done. Here we go. God, wish me luck. I'm so scared of this part of the process. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get some coffee in me and keep trucking on through. All right, it is like nine in the morning. God love me. I'm, I'm about finished with the top. I have a couple little adjustments to make. I gotta take some of the, the threads off still, but like you guys, it came together. Pretty cute. I would actually wear this out straight up. Okay, now I gotta rush and get ready. Ah, wish me luck. <laughs> the look is okay. I'm betting on this makeup to save me, hopefully, kind of, because it's gonna be mostly a makeup look. I'm, it's, I hope that's that's a gag. We're gonna try our best. <laughs> We're gonna try our fucking best, yo. Okay, so it's morning. Um, I look like trash. <laughs> Wait a second. This camera's bad. <laughs> Wait a second. It's even worse. <laughs> my expectations for today are <laughs> fall on my face. I don't know. Like, get there, fumble a little bit, not know what's going on. Expectations low, but hopes high. So I have to go snag these giant nutcrackers and then get like the skin and the face ready and the clothes and then hopefully be ready by time to be there. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> today's about to be a mess. Okay, so we're starting on my makeup look. Kind of have it designed in my head. Hair is pretty much where I want it. Time to start the makeup. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the smokiest of smoky eyes I have ever created. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm blending. I sure am blending. It's a party. I guess I'm done.
My wrist is just clicking. Should I go to a doctor? <laughs> Dom, you're getting all set up. You're at half your look right now. You can have the best props in the world and the best photographer, but if you don't carry this concept of surrealist circus into the ring, it's just gonna fall flat on its face. I'm gonna bring the energy to my shoot. Yes, yes, rewrite my stars, daddy. How did you think of this? I would have never. Courtney has the elevated boots. <laughs> the shoot definitely met my expectations. If anything, it was above expectations. That's a wrap on Dominic! I had one of the most fantastic photographers. Woo! Thanks for coming to the show. Yeah. <laughs> Super late. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're out here in the final stages of getting ready. Dahlia is in the building. Alex is here too. Alex, say hi to the camera. Ooh, that's cool. That is neat. Yeah, you did a great job. That one, that's that one might even be fantastic. Cool. Look at Artie with the, with the makeup. Instead of picking one bow tie, we use both of them. You guys suggested putting the red on the side of the hair. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> we live Thank you, punk rock Thomas. Yeah. I'll also, 100%, Will has the hardest one and we will have to go the hardest. Even though it was a lot of work, it was so much reward when I finally put the whole outfit on and put the makeup on. I looked at myself and I was like, I can't believe I did this. I really said pinup vibe we got going mm here. -hmm. Yes. This is America. This is such a good look. You're gonna kill it. Yeah. The only bit of a story I've come up with is that her name is Carlotta. She's from the future and she went back to the 20s to infiltrate like the mob that's running the speakeasy, but she didn't have enough time to prepare. So that's why it's only like hints of 20. That's dope. <laughs> She's like, shoot, what time was I going to? Um, <laughs> I hope my pictures turn out okay. I'm not too comfortable in front of a camera. Everybody else in the studio was helping to fulfill the vision that I had. I love it. Yeah, that's cool. Thomas's interpretation of his prompt, I wouldn't have thought of that. I kind of like getting to dabble in the realm of villains. I got to be like this Mad Max chief character and also combine that with like kind of the dark elements of a Wonderland. The one shot I'm very surprised actually we got one of was me pouring the tea on myself. I didn't know if that was gonna work. Yeah! Yeah, dog, you're full of cag. Oh. Yes! I stand, I'm standing. Rap on me! Rap on Thomas. Since I do cosplay, I'm used to having the design in front of me and then making what I see. I had to kind of work from scratch, which is new for me. Oh, perfect. You're in the saloon. There's, uh, you know, saloon people. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> All those saloon people. You know. Alex is a fantastic photographer and he's really good at directing. I'm excited to work with Alex. Even just seeing the, the shots that he got just off the camera screen, I'm blown away. Yes, this natural model. Yeah! Oh, shit, that's bad. <laughs> the elf is out for blood. I came to have fun. I came for the adventure of falling on my face. <laughs> we are done. That was it. <gasps> oh. That is the only thing I'm good at. If I'm gonna be confident about anything, I can strike a pose. <laughs> it is kind of hot. That's kind, that's kind of a banger. Wow. <laughs> I know my angles and I know where my face looks good as opposed to not good. <laughs> I was right. All Artie had to do was stand there and Bobby just helped them look even better. Oh my god. Here's Artie 
trying to figure out how to be angry. Sorry. No, we got to document this. <laughs> angry is hard for me. And that was a wrap on Artie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deep lunge. There you go. Yeah, show off them boys. That's super anime. I love it. Yeah, right. Spike it at him. I just hope they're fun. Like, I, I care less about the shots where, like, I might look, like, cool or sexy. I genuinely want, like, stupid-looking things of me just having a fun time. Ah, uh, dope. I wanted to jump and have a frisbee in my mouth, and that was pretty much the only thing. I think if you didn't feel insane doing this, you would be doing it wrong. The shoot definitely made my expectations exceeded them. I approached it with really none. I just came here being like, I'm gonna be in Daisy Dukes all day. That was my only expectation, really. All right, so I picked my photos. Artie is going through the multitude of photos. The photographer, a beast. Bobby, how are you feeling? I'm exhausted. I feel really good about everything that we've done here. Bobby myself. is freaking awesome. Jeez, who am I gonna vote for? If I don't win, I'll be stoked for whoever does win. I'm more excited to see the pictures than to see who wins. It's really anybody's game. I think I had so much fun with it. At the end of the day, I already feel like I won. Really, whoever wins, we all win. If I was not to win, I would burn this studio down. <laughs> It comes down to who executed it best. I don't know if I did. <laughs> if I don't win, I would just be happy for the person who did win. They probably deserved it if they won. Unless it's rigged, is there a secret? <laughs> Whoever wins, I'll just steal the trophies and claim that I've won everything anyway. I hope at the very least, if I don't win, I win Miss Congeniality. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We are all the model. There we are, everyone's here. Welcome to America's next best home. Awkward <laughs> improvement. DIY? <laughs> home yeah. improvement DIY. <laughs> all the vlogs are confusing, but we were building a house. We were building a house. <laughs> the whole time we built a house. Thank you all for being a part of this inaugural event. It feels like a thrill to breathe your air. <laughs> 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 We're going to go ahead and showcase our photos. Each model is going to get up here. We're going to showcase one of the photos, and then anybody who doesn't know the theme is going to try and guess it. How do you guys want to choose who goes first? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. It's on, baby. All right, here Quill we go. and Artie. All right. In this corner. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got this. Oh, you got oh, this. Oh, oh. Oh. Paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! Oh That was probably the most high intensity game of rock, paper, scissors <laughs> I've ever experienced. I felt like my life was on the line. <laughs> Artie, pick, 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 Middle folder? Middle folder says. AJ! AJ! Oh no! Oh my gosh! I accept my win now. Spoilers! Stop looking! I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Everybody You're all looking. Get your I'm sinful eyes away from my phone. My gaze. <laughs> I love oh this one. my um, gosh. I'm what a pose this was. This is Thank cute. You. This was I like this. This, this was so the best fun. one. If nothing do. else, this feels just like an AJ picture. It very much is. <laughs> <laughs> the crop top was done so well. The crop top was done. Thank you, Artemis. Is this like sexy dog trainer? Okay. Like, no. Sexy dog trainer. You're close. Why did? Close. Why is that not a theme? Oh, Super cute. Yeah. I like okay. that That's one. So cute. This one's so pretty, right? I'm so jealous. So I'm getting. Okay, you oh. got the whistle, so it's got to be like coach or Ooh. camp okay. counselor. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So are you like a a camp counselor for dogs? <laughs> you are so on the cusp of it. How do I get any closer? So okay, <laughs> I'm not training any dogs. You are the dog. Mm. What happens normally at summer camps if it were the '80s? People get stabbed. People get stabbed. <laughs> And or so you're a Monster. werewolf, so it's like a. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Yay, AJ! Yay, AJ! I can tell he had a lot of fun with it, and fun is sexy. Crop top is really sexy. The crop top on AJ is. Like, it's not intimidatingly sexy. It's like a sexy that you can approach. This is a fun monster king. They're silly as f but like, I'll be 100. This makes me feel cool. Yeah. I'm feeling a really good energy from this. Ah! So in traditional cosplayer fashion, I waited till like the day before to actually put things together. <laughs> okay. I'm not the only one. Photo number uno. That's amazing. Isn't that so? This 
dude. I'm getting the feeling of the one person with the apple in front of their face. Okay. Oh, so okay. Yes. This is so good. Isn't that so? This look, also so gives good. me major Dom energy. Yeah. 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 Very much. yeah. Very much so. Can we see the second photo? Yeah, okay. Okay. Second Ooh. photo. This one's really tough. Oh my god. So yeah. hot. Isn't okay. So I'm getting carnival from this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. 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 Oh, that's really close. very close. That's really close. Okay. AJ was on the right track. No, AJ was on the right track. So AJ was close. 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 close to AJ. Surrealist oh! Circus. Yeah! Surrealist Circus. I love that. Sexy Surrealist Circus. <laughs> I actually took a lot of inspiration from Surrealist artists. So obviously the, the apple in front of the guy's face. In my hallway, I have the Temptation of St. Anthony by Salvador Dali. There's like these framed female torso. So I'm like, well, what if I just framed my crush? So in uh -huh. one of my favorite paintings by Frida Kahlo, her self-portrait, she actually has like these white belts across her nude chest. Isn't that That's amazing? Beautiful. That's really good. Sorry I'm hyping it up no, so no, much. Fine. I'm not trying to sway anybody. No, this one is good. No. Dom, your photos Yay. dude. Yay. <laughs> Those photos Dom did so much research for his, which I really admire. I think as far as like executing their concept, this is the strongest one. Dom just killed it. He absolutely killed it. Stunning. You dominate in this competition. Oh, you're choosing that one. Bailey! Yeah. Okay, eyes are closed. Eyes are closed. <gasps> oh! Celia! Yeah, dag and full of gag, yeah! Oh my yeah. god! Instantly, I am feeling you're steampunk. So yes. Pirate? No, that's no. kind of steampunky as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Tavern or bar? Or close. So I was going to say like a nightclub. Brawl? From a specific time Speak period. Easy. Yes. Yeah. 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 You are Madam. gorgeous. Servant. Oh, you're you are not kidding with the whole. You <laughs> Celia walks in, she goes, Oh my gosh, I didn't know this was supposed to be sexy until this morning. I hate you so much. Yeah. I, I hate you so she, much. She, oh my gosh. Oh, so you just yeah. naturally. Oh, she's just just she's naturally no, she's a banger. So she's aura. a banger. It's just my aura. Look at her yeah. now. I was definitely on the right track thinking that the cosplayers were going to absolutely they blew it run up. Match it up. I'm just blown away by like how all of this matches. You look elegant yeah. as I wish you I sewed the backdrop to the dress and then cut it and then I hand tied I... the extra pieces. Props to yeah, Dahlia! Dahlia. I love Memorable. that. This looks like a professionally put together costume. Best outfit overall. There was so much effort and thought put into it. It looked like high fashion steampunk. So AJ chooses now. Okay. I'm not ready. It was chumps. It was chumps. Oh! Okay, all right. These are mine. Okay, ready? And, ooh. Dude. Let me put the brightness up a little. Okay. This is sickening. There we go. Oh when I tell you guys this was sickening, it was really good. Dude, that looks amazing. This is the one where we were laying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it looks so yeah. sick. This is me. Look good? Yes. yes, this is me. That's Artie and that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is me. Do you have oh. an idea? Goth or punk Alice in Wonderland tea, tea time? You've got the location. Dude, this is so cool. Okay. It's tea party. It's tea party. It's tea party. It's tea party. Yes. The broken teacup is so neat. Joan proposed me doing this, so you can thank Joan for this one. <gasps> yes! yes! That's perfect. Oh, you're so yes. hot. Yes. I don't. Perfect. <laughs> Those macarons are stealing your show, though. <laughs> From the other one, it feels kind of like, like an apocalypse. Yes! The what? title was Mad, in parentheses, Max, Tea Party. Oh, oh. that's dope. Anyway, Frank, that's me. Frank 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 Thank you. This is so hot. This is like the hot, maybe the hottest of all the pictures, I think. I mean, sexy. So I think my favorite shot is the one at the table with all the broken stuff. I feel like that really sells his look. The setting in Thomas's really sold the theme for me. The broken teapot pieces are so cool. Like what a neat little touch. With the two bow ties. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. shuffle. Yeah. Okay, shuffle. I got a good feeling about this one. Oh, what does it say? It's quick. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? I am so ready for yours. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my, my god. Gosh. Gosh. You I... are an <laughs> Yes! Oh. Will. Does anybody have a guess? Are we beachy? Really? Yes, we are beachy. Oh my, oh my gosh, beachy. we get a second photo. <gasps> you yes. are so Gosh, the 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 the, the poses. Right, so is this like you're doing yeah. like neon something or other? Like you're going close. That? Close. Okay, okay. Close. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, 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 cyberpunk. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look so 
hot. So you are you. one of the sexiest people I've seen on my planet. <laughs> like, oh my god. Thank you, thank you. So I did a lot of research about cyberpunk and like the originating of the fashion. Uh, cyberpunk has a lot to do with the integration of and like stories. technology and biology. And so I was thinking about the way that that sort of factors into the modern world and I was thinking about like the AI influencers like Lil Michaela and how much more prevalent they're gonna be in like 20 years and I was like I want to make a robot influencer oh yeah. that's the makeup great. Is Love it. Love it. Woo! to be able to do cyberpunk but then make it almost look like a classic vintage pinup was so genius genius the colors are also absolutely beautiful oh my god that orange against that blue against that pink serving it might have my vote hate that kind of like feeling the energy of this one. I don't know who the f this is. <laughs> Let's go with that one. Go, go. And it's oh, Dominic again! Oh, yeah. No, it's already, it's already, it's already. I it's already. All right, all right. I could go. Ooh! Holy Ooh. Dude, wow, oh that's God. pretty. The makeup looks so good. This was the second picture that was taken. Unbelievable. And the, the, second the, picture the, the lighting here, the gels were made from the green bubble wrap Rap that was wrapped was around his nutcracker. Perfect. Thing. And an Ulta bag that I brought. And a pink Ulta bag. Amazing. Oh my, toy, toy, toy store. Yeah. L? Oh! <laughs> that means well, I that am means, an elf. Yeah. Type of elf? Yeah. Well, like no. fantasy? Yes! yes. Oh, there you go! Yes. Fantasy toy shop! <gasps> Where I'm inside oh of the house. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! It is pretty pretty. I, I, so cool. I didn't yeah. think yeah. it was going to be so dark. This is the nutcracker. Yeah. version so of the cool. nutcracker. Okay, so my little thing was, I am an actual elf, but I've stumbled into some toy store. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm really mad because I've been magically turned into a toy, and so I'm breaking. That is <laughs> stunning. Slinging eyes. Thank like, you, yeah. Arnie! Yeah. You feel the drama in his pictures. Beautiful lighting, beautiful styling. He's so different in these photos than he is as a person that's like, that's real skill. The one where he's in the box? Are you kidding me? You killed it. All right, so it is now time to vote. Our format producer is standing by. We are all going to text who we vote for to Lauren. Once she tallies it up, she's gonna send it to Quill and Quill is going to announce the winner. Give me just a second to figure out who I'm gonna vote for. I've got my vote. Send it. This was very hard. I'm sorry. I know it's gonna die. <laughs> You're welcome for the win. I couldn't vote for myself, so. Everyone was so good, and this is so hard. I sent it. It's done. We just wait for I the freaking result it. now. <laughs> Uh-oh. Final results are in. Oh, the final results are in? Final results are in. <laughs> okay. okay. This is so exciting. We're doing drum roll. Well, don't hurt Quill. <laughs> And the winner is... Mr. Sexy yes. Home Improvement uh, DIY. Here is your crown, my good man. Crown. Yeah. 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 You are the yeah. sexiest in the room. Yeah. Yes. Cue theme song. Cue theme song. Everybody else gets a little trophy. Oh, oh the baby, oh, let's go. Consolation <laughs> prize. We're all winners. This means so much to me. Thanks. I just want to thank <laughs> everyone. <laughs> For real, you guys, this was everything and more than I thought this actually could be. Seriously, I want to do this again. Would you do something like this again? Oh, I would definitely do something like this again. I would 110% like to do something like this again. I would totally do something like this again, I think. If they have a next one, I want to be here for it. I love getting to put together this kind of world. If I had the option to do something like this again, I would do it every day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are interested in watching any other videos, you can click over here. And if you're new to the channel, click down here. There is an extended version of this video with tons more that actually went down. And if you were interested in watching that video, go to our patreon.com slash Thomas Sanders. You can subscribe at the lowest level to gain access to all our extended videos. That is it. And until next time, take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out!